Right. It only goes the way I point it. If I point it over here, you can't hear it. So I kind of stuck, and I'll try to get by without it. Is that, is that better? Yes. Okay. Anyway, I want to thank you all for coming. And uh, this is this movement is a marathon. It, it's not a sprint. I'm just now lacing up my running shoes. But be aware that the propaganda machine is beating the drums of war in high gear. And hopefully the American people will be dancing to the beat of a different drummer. Yeah. One that says, give peace a chance. Yeah. I, was at a, I was at a drinking liberally with the progressive Democrats one night and one man accused me of being like Dave Croto. I was paranoid. I don't trust the government. Let's address that for a minute. Let's go back about just in the last 15 years. They, they appealed Glass-Steagall, which kept financial institutions, investment banks, and savings banks. The reason they had that bill, that act, was so the financial crisis that we encountered in 2008 wouldn't happen. It was the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind. No one got indicted. We tried. The state's attorney generals took them to court for, for forgery, robo-signing documents. No one's been indicted. No one's even gone to court. And worst of all, there's been no legislation to keep them from doing it again. Once again, our government does not represent us. 9-11, that's why we're here, the anniversary of the the attack in New York and D.C. and a plane crash in Philadelphia, not getting into who's responsible. Let's just talk about the aftermath. It gave us the Patriot Act. We were so scared of Al-Qaeda and global terrorism that we had to give up our rights and liberties and give the president unprecedented power to make war without declaring war and on anyone he so desires. Well, if it's a global war on terror, why isn't the rest of the world gearing up for it? We spend more on our military than the rest of the world spends combined. And that wouldn't be bad if they didn't cut the taxes of the biggest owners in the country. We need a new tax code, one that values labor and not investment bankers. So, this global terrorist thing, I don't know how many of you remember the DC snipers. They were two guys without an agenda, a car and a rifle, they terrorized the DC area for 23 days. We took out Bin Laden supposedly, no repercussions worldwide. It's the boogeyman. We declared war on the boogeyman. And what a thing for this military economy we have. Perpetual war. They get to eavesdrop on Americans. They get to tap into your bank accounts. We have no rights or liberties. And now 12 years after that, we're talking about arming the free Syrian rebel army. 20% of which are Al-Qaeda fighters. And once you sell a weapon, you don't know what, what's going to happen to it. So if... The, if if Al-Qaeda is such a threat that we had to void out our Constitution, how in the world can we be entertaining supplying arms to the enemy? Let's repeal the Patriot Act. Yeah. It's the Patriot Act that gives Obama yes. the power to do these drone strikes. And I thought it was funny when McCain was in town and he said Iraq is now a training ground for Al-Qaeda. Well, wasn't that what Afghanistan was after the Russians left? Didn't we go there to fight them there to make us safer? Well, I don't see having another country that's a training ground for Al-Qaeda make us any safer. It's, it's a myth. They're trying to keep us scared, scared of everybody, so they can keep making weapons. You know, the, the rest of the industrialized world, they spend their tax dollars on education, and health care and infrastructure and renewable energy and we're spending it on machines of war 
to the boogeyman. They created the enemy. And another thing uh, the president said last night, he urged all Americans and all representatives to watch those videos of the carnage in Syria that these chemicals caused. The only problem is there's no proof who did it. Where's the proof, Mr. Obama? Now, why aren't we seeing the videos of the carnage we caused with our drone strikes? And that's why we're here. We're going to show them that carnage. We're going to make them see what we're doing. And hopefully, we can come together to, number one, end the drone strikes, repeal the Patriot Act, to change the way we elect our officials. Yeah. Money shouldn't buy political clout. Let's have publicly financed election like most of the industrialized world. For the first time in the history of America, this generation of children is not as healthy as the last generation. And what do we do? We have our legislators go overseas and lobby for Monsanto. Monsanto. We got to get control of our government back, our country back and stop this perpetual war on the boogeyman. Let's show them. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. You excited? Yeah. Or yeah. so that people find out what's really going on. Yes. Be proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. Be, be courageous. Let me hear some noise, please. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to say thank you to the two men that came up. And the gentleman, Ethan, who's playing the violin. And Absolutely. Billy. I don't know where he went. A um, couple of things before we get going. Um, we're gonna stop right here on Speedway and we're gonna take a right on the, on the south side of Speedway. We're gonna get to the park, the end of park, and uh, we're gonna be in between the white box and and the bus stop. So if we could all please get in there, there's gonna be a dying and there's gonna be a um, a missile shot at us by this this drone that we made. And of course, it's all safe. I hope. And, uh, <laughs> and and then, uh, so it's gonna hit us, and everybody at the same time when that when that missile hits us, we we'll throw the the body parts that somebody's gonna hand out <laughs> up into the air, and you're gonna fall. So if, if we have all the people that have the shirts and uh, those people who would like to participate, um, Lisa has the body parts, and uh, please please go and get yourself some body parts to throw up when. <laughs> Want to make a message here? I believe. So, um, I guess we'll get going. If we can stretch out as far as we can to make sure that uh, we get a lot of visibility from all the signs and from all the people, really appreciate that. And uh, me and some time came up with a couple of chairs, so if you want to keep going, uh, we'll, get, we'll get going. Okay. Yeah! 
going here? This next one says, go up! Yeah, a change of plans, everybody. We're going to go this way to try to get as much visibility from the cars that are coming off of the road. This next one says, go boom, Syria! And you'll say, enough! Enough! No more war! Go boom, Syria! Enough! Enough! No more war! Go boom, Syria! Enough! Enough! No more war! Go boom, Syria! Enough! Enough! No more war! Right now. This next one goes like this. Bomb, drums, and money for war. That's what makes this whole world poor. Bombs, drums, money for war. That's what makes this whole world poor. Money for war. That's what makes this whole world poor.
There we have it. The drone has made it to Tucson. This one requires quite a few more people though to operate. <laughs> Welcome. An important decision must be made in Syria. We cannot let people use weapons of mass destruction to kill children and women. We have our credibility is at stake in the Middle East. We must protect the law-abiding citizens of the region against criminal criminal chemical attacks. That's right. That's right, Obama. <laughs> you gotta stop them. Them attacks, those WMDs. How you doing? I mean, how you doing? How's it going, Joe? Yeah. I know. I heard that. Tex, yeah. That's what's up. Just call me Barack Bush. Barack Bush. Oh, oh no! People are dying. Oh. You gotta interview him. Get close so you can hear him. This is the person that was on my list. I made it Tuesday. 
So it's a successful attack. Success. We have protected America from terrorism. Because here's the person I put on my list right here. Thank you. Oh, here they come. We have defended here they our credibility. It's their fault. It's just a little collateral damage. Not in our name. No, it's for the White House. We're not the global policemen. No, but GE told me to do it. The people want a revolution. GE helped me make the list. I think there might be one or two other terrorists on my No, no, just this one. Just a little collateral damage. No problem. Arms. No problem. from war. Hey, this one, I gotta send in the drones. This one's still oh, moving around. No, no, no! Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're breaking you my heart! Oh, no! No! showed me your videos on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> McCain, McCain must have pointed me out. You're one of those, uh, what do they call them? <laughs> Occupy whatever, wherever, okay. Gas is in Oakland. Gas in Oakland? Yes, you gassed occupiers in Oakland. No, no, that wasn't me, but it I approve. It was tear gas. upon themselves. We must keep our credibility. Thank you, American people. Who knows what Bush put up? Oh, oh Bush said yesterday. Barack Obama. Bush. What did he say? What did he say yesterday? I don't know. I think it is a make sure that you listen to what I say. That looks heavy. Not too bad. So bad right now. What I say is the truth. Don't listen to the other Americans. Thank you. 